Finally, this makes sense. Welcome to the swamp. In 1982, the Florida Panther was declared the state animal of Florida. In the 1970s, there were as few as 20 Florida Panthers in existence. Thanks to the Endangered Species Act, a little luck and sheer determination, their population has risen now roughly to 230 Florida Panthers, Concolor corii. Now they have deduced that there is not enough unique DNA to classify the Florida Panther as a different species, scratch the corii. They want us to refer to it as just Concolor. Even though sexual isolation is one of the characteristics in defining a species, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon. Welcome to the great outdoors. The Florida Panther is the only breeding population of Panthera which includes Puma, Cougar, Mountain Lion, and Panthers in the eastern United States. From the 1970s through 1995, it was estimated that there were as few as 20 to 30 Florida Panthers remaining. Even after being placed on the Endangered Species Act in 1967 and given the highest protection, one major issue had become inbreeding. The lack of different breeding specimens leads to what is known as a genetic bottleneck. A limited number of specimens means a limited amount of genetic diversity and essentially making the Florida Panther, which is now Florida State Animal, vulnerable and weak. In 1995, eight female Texas Pumas were introduced back into Florida, offering much needed genetic diversity to a dwindling panther population. 120,000 hectares of habitat, as well as highway underpasses, which traffic accidents cost the panther around 10 to 20 casualties annually, have certainly given the panther more options and a better chance at a lasting survival. The Florida panther is limited to 5% of its historic range, and it certainly appears as though the panther is making the most of its limited range. Using samples from 591 individual Florida panthers, Puma concolor corii, collected since 1981, the scientists traced the bloodlines of panthers alive today, including the 424 documented panther births since the Texas cougars arrived. The offspring of the original panther population and the imported pumas rapidly grew to as many as 95 adult big cats ranging across Big Cypress National Reserve and other remaining habitats. This genetic restoration might provide a model for efforts to conserve dwindling big cat populations around the world. Even though the Florida Panther may be very similar to the cougar, mountain lion, and pumas out west, the legend of the Florida Panther is certainly unique and almost all research pertaining to the Florida Panther always includes the full name Panthera concolor corii. The population of the Florida Panther is almost tenfold of what it was in 1995 when they introduced the Texas Pumas. A species that was once holding on by a thread offers so much hope. If you like the content in this video, show that by hitting that like button, I really appreciate it, and hopefully we'll see you in the great outdoors. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy.